Hey, real quick, I wanted to tell you about the setup that we're using today. This is a John Deere 1025R, a subcompact tractor. You could make this a Kubota BX for another subcompact, or a Massey, or Coyote, or New Holland, Mahindra, the list goes on. A subcompact tractor is what this is representing. On the back side, we have a ton of ballast weight here, all right? This is our patent pending uh, hitch hanger that we have on the side. So if you do have a quick hitch, you can hang additional suitcase weights on the back side. So say you had a landscape rake, say you had a rear blade, something that wasn't very heavy, you want a more down pressure, these hitch hangers will do that. They'll give you up to six 70 pound weights, 420 pounds of additional ballast weight if you want, or you could have a larger tractor that requires more ballast weight. You can hang eight 70 pounds uh, weights on the Versa bracket that we have right here, and then you can get an additional six 70 pound weights there. So you can really maximize your usable space on the back side of the tractor. Weight that's back here is a lot more beneficial than weight that's further up front. Loaded tires are really good to have. Wheel weights are really good to have, especially if you have like a 4720, a big 4R tractor like what we have, a Kubota L6060, for example. They need a lot of ballast weight back there to safely use the front end loader. And so observe in today's video, we're running this down really low to the ground. The idea is you want to lower your center of gravity as well. So we're not going to raise the three-point hitch all the way up and just have that center of gravity increase. We want to keep it down low to the ground where it's most beneficial and has the biggest impact. And now you will see we do have our rhino hide canopy right here keeping us out of the sun. And today, actually, I enjoy the sun. I appreciate it. But we're going to have those hot summer months coming soon. This rhino hide canopy is rhino tough, so it's nearly unbreakable, very lightweight, easy for one person to install. So you can pop this thing on and off in 10, 15 seconds. Very easy to do if you want to put it inside your garage, if you want to travel down the road with it. Rhino hide canopy, check it out. And now this right here is the GWT stump wrecker, poor man's backhoe, mini stump bucket, whatever you want to call it, front hoe bucket. This is designed to get those stumps out of the ground, to dig trenches, to dig holes, to plant trees, all sorts of different uses as concentrating the power into a small location. A lot of the stump buckets out there are really long, too big for some compact tractors. You can't maximize the full force of the machine, or it can also put it out into a, a dangerous spot where it's a lot easier to tweak and torque and bend your loader. So this keeps everything a little bit closer to the machine. You have these Sawzall type edges that are along the side here. AR400 replaceable cutting edge. This is the original cutting edge, still haven't bent it yet, but we have these for John Deere quick attach, for skid steer quick attach. So you wanna have one of those two setups. If you have like a, um, a Massey or an LS or a, a Coyote, some other brands, make sure you ask that your tractor is gonna come with the SSQA or skid steer quick attach. You can get something like this, a set of pallet forks, a snow pusher, a grapple, all sorts of attachments as long as you have it. As always, we're sponsored by Bora Wheel Spacers. They are made in America, have a lifetime warranty. If your tractor feels tippy side to side, especially if you have a cab on it, then adding a set of wheel spacers can make a big difference. Get more information on them at the link down below.
Alrighty guys, well that is gonna wrap it up for us today. Got these stumps out of the way. Man, it's like this project is turning into a bigger task than I thought it was gonna be just to expand the drive. A lot of stumps right through here, but we're in good shape now. 40 yards or 60 tons of 22A gravel that we're gonna use uh, to widen the drive here. Put this down in the next video. Gonna use a bucket on the 1025R. I, my, well, Chris said I'm a glutton for punishment. So I'm curious to see how long it takes. We do have the tooth bar on there. That's gonna help with digging into these piles and spreading that all around. And if it does take too long, I always come back and use a skid steer or a bigger tractor or something else. But it's fun to use a little guy now and then. It relates to a lot of what you guys are using right now or even one size bigger, really like a 2025R or a Kubota B2601. Hope you enjoyed today's video. You got to see how the stump bucket works in a different application here today. See if it'll work for you and your applications too. If you are interested in ordering something for your tractor, we're happy to help. We sell and ship all over the country every day of the week. Check out goodworkstractors.com. Want to thank you for taking time out of your day to stop by and until next time, stay safe. We'll see you soon.